Many of us have been on social media for the best part of a decade, and a lot of us have had the same account since the start, okay, perhaps under a less embarrassing name than Cool Lucy 22. I don't believe that deleting social media is the best option for all of us, but I do think it's essential that we try to take a couple of weeks off and refresh it from all of the people we follow to the posts under our name from eight years ago. So here is why you need to take a social media detox. First of all, to give your eyes a rest. Has anyone ever been on TikTok for that long? You actually get an advert saying, hey, you should probably give your eyes a rest for a while. Because I have, and that was kind of embarrassing. <laughs> I think we forget how bad it is for our eyesight to be on our phones 24 seven and to be scrolling and scrolling endlessly and also how bad it can be for our brain. I feel like when I go on social media or even watch YouTube videos for too long, I go into this weird brain fog and I come out feeling really awful and I don't know what it is. Sometimes I might have watched great videos and really enjoyed them, but I just push the limits a little bit too much and I come out like a drained zombie. I imagine that all of us want to be seeing when we're 60 years old and you should definitely look at some of the studies that show how bad these blue light rays really are for our eyes. Secondly, I think if you take a social media detox, even as short as one week, you can come back to reality and forget about the virtual world for a while and realize what life is actually like. We're constantly seeing so many things that, you know, when we see, we believe and we think, oh, is that what a natural woman looks like? And we forget about things like Facetune and we forget that these people aren't posting their best days and so a lot of social media is fake. Not necessarily in a bad way. It makes sense you don't want to share the bad moments with the world and you do want to share the good moments but if you stay on the social world for too long you start to forget that other people do have bad moments and you feel like you're the only one who's ever having a bad day and you're having the worst life because you're seeing your bad moments you're not seeing their bad moments. Also in general, I think coming back into the, the real world can really help you with your social interactions. I know that post COVID, the first time I saw my friend, I like could not communicate and I was so nervous meeting them and it took me a while to adjust back. And I feel like that was partially because for so long, the only time I was seeing people was via a text or a video call. You know, I feel like social media can really lower our real, social interactions, which is ironic. Another reason I'd, I would argue the most important is because social media can really destroy your self-esteem and it's something that people never used to experience to the extent that young girls and young men do today. Actually, not even young people, anyone who's on the social world. I'm so used to following models, probably for inspiration or some fashion advice or even just because I'm envious of them and it's so backwards because it means every single time I see a photo from someone that's like super pretty or wearing the coolest outfit that I could never afford, I start feeling really bad about myself. You know, I can't afford to go to Dubai or the Maldives and that's okay with me but when I constantly see all of these rich, famous, successful people doing that, it does kind of stick it to me a little bit. With social media as well, we I feel like we look at ourselves so much more. And in the six months that I've not been on social media, I realize how little I look at my face. <laughs> and that sounds weird, especially since I am on YouTube. But for example, I don't have any mirrors in my room. My front phone screen is smashed. And so I don't really have any pictures to sit and pick apart and think, oh, this isn't good enough to post. The only time I get photos is when I genuinely want the photo with someone. And I think it's benefited my self-esteem so much not comparing myself to all of these people who may or may not be using Facetune. Like I said earlier on, social media is not necessarily real life and we can't blame people for not showing the good and the bad, but it's hard to remember that there are bads and it's hard to remember that, you know, these beautiful people that we're following also get bloated. They also eat pizzas when they have a craving and they're not always sitting by a palm tree sipping on a cocktail. Another super important thing I've learned from 
deleting social media is that I wasn't necessarily attached to social media as I thought, but I was attached to my specific account because for 10 years straight, I'd been using the same Instagram, the same Facebook, and therefore I had all of these memories on it that I found really hard to give up. I know that when I deleted social media, I found a really easy way to download the files. It's not as hard as it looks. And it meant that it's on me. I'm not connecting all of my memories to an app that may disappear in 10 years. You know, these photos are mine and I have them physically or I have them on an SD card somewhere. I just think if everyone did that, maybe we would have such a connection to some social medias. I mean, I know a lot of people that keep Snapchat, for example, just because they have all the memories down there. They don't use Snapchat anymore. It's just they're connected to the documents that are on it. Now, like I was talking about comparison earlier on, I think if we also took a huge refresh on everyone we're following, this would change the game for sure and it would make your social media experience a little bit less toxic. So before I actually deleted social media fully, I took a month on Instagram where I deleted everyone and I actually took a couple days Instagram doesn't really enjoy you removing like a thousand people from your following list. But I removed every single person and then I went back and I checked, like I typed on the search bar the names of the people I wanted to follow back. And that only led to 18 people, you know, 18 friends and family of mine. And it meant that I wasn't connecting myself and trying to keep up with 1,000 people that, you know, the majority of them I met one time or I'll definitely never see again. I think a great thing that could happen when you take a detox from social media is you could actually find a hobby that will keep you off the screen for a little bit longer when you do go back. One hobby that I really got into when I deleted social media was I got back into reading books which was great and I learned so much over the past six months and I really enjoyed reading again for the first time since I was like a young teenager and I know that this is a hobby that I don't feel bad about even if I'm reading fiction and I'm not necessarily learning anything. At least I'm not destroying my eyesight by staring at my phone from like this distance. <laughs> now like I have said many times, I do just want to reiterate, I'm not saying delete social media and even from my experience of deleting it, I don't know if I would recommend people to fully cut off the virtual world because I've come to the conclusion that you do have to adapt and you know follow the tide if everyone else is onto the virtual world now it'd be weird to be the only person that isn't you know what? i know personally that there's certain social media apps that are not good for my health like tiktok per se because short form content just really destroys my brain and waste a full day you know but that's not to say that every single social media app is bad for you i think there's a lot of good in social media and it's a great way to stay up to date with your friends especially in times like this where you can't always see them physically where would we be without social media right now like i have no idea personally it's a great way to stay informed with the news and politics that you're interested in and to stay up to date with places in the world that, that maybe you wouldn't come across normally so don't take this as a i hate social media video because i definitely don't and as someone who posts on youtube i think it would be really ironic for me to tell everyone to delete every single social media app and never come back again because i just think there's certain social media apps that are better for certain people one more thing to add a detox can be as short as one week or it could be as long as six months like i've done but you should definitely have a think about whether it's been a long time since you've last taken a break that long from social media and you should definitely try it out and you know give yourself a refresh and a reset on and be able to realize what's the difference between the virtual world and the real world because at the end of the day it's going to be a great thing for your health at the very least and maybe you'll know that you missed social media more than you thought you would okay thank you very much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed if you did hear two more videos i think you would like and if not that's totally okay i hope you have a lovely day and bye bye